Oh, looks like I can, I can dodge these by doing that. Well, that's a very slow spin dash. Oh, now we play as Knuckles. Okay, that looks so long. As is that. Did it ever occur to say that they could uh, use controls from previous Sonic games? Like. Maybe they could give Knuckles his Sonic Adventure controls. Well, Sonic Adventure 2 controls are better, so I would go with those controls. It would work a lot better in this game. That doesn't even work. No, I thought I could have got from the loop. Okay, looks like I've got to take out all of the robots here. I like this effect on Sonic. Looks, looks good. Red light on looks good on Sonic. There are the last enemies. There's one. Oh, more enemies. I have enough space in my iPad to record the rest of this episode. I mean, we are right at the end of this game. I mean, we're not, not right at the end of the game, because that's what I said. We're at the end of Sonic's episode. Sonic's going to go slowly again. Okay, made it to the end of that level. Let's show the the last part of Sonic's episode will probably just be a cutscene and then the credits. No problem. Okay. Just one cutscene and then after Sonic's last pass. We're not his last boss, it's the last boss in his episode. And Sonic's theme song plays. I always loved that bit. What is this happening? No! Playtime's over. 
and it plays again. This ship is about to crash. Too bad, Eggman. <laughs> I'm not finished yet. Keep getting in my way, you pesky little hedgehog. Very well. I'll take you out myself. This is the egg something. I didn't really get a chance to read that then. Started reading it too soon. Okay, defeat Dr. Eggman. Okay. Right back at you. I'll finish this here. So yeah, this is a very simple boss fight. Look, he's got a horn like his dog had. And the horn was part of his dog's weakness, maybe it's part of this boss's weakness as well. Here I come, Eggman. And it is a part of his weakness. Yeah, you just take him out the same way you take out his dog, make him fresh and stuff. Your main problem with this boss is falling. Don't fall because, as you can see, he takes out the footholds. And later he'll start taking the, taking out the footholds in the middle and that will just make it very easy to die. But other than that, it's just it's alright. No problem with it. He's got a lot of health. I think after he takes out these three, he'll just, um, he'll take out the ones that you're stood on, so I usually stand in the corner. But I don't know if he does, I don't know if he does take out the ones that you're standing on, but he might do. If he really was uh, a really smart guy, if he really did have an IQ of 300, you'd think he'd be smart enough to take out all of the footholds so he wouldn't have anything to stand on. And he gives you another chance to attack him after he attacks you. It's something. Anything before it's too late. There's, there's nothing for this guy to hit. Still up. Not level with him. Nothing's level with him. Too late. Where did that come from? Okay, what's he doing now? Oh, he's doing that. Here I come, Sonic. Okay, another chance at this. Okay, this time you've got to do it, Sonic. Just 
Oh, he doesn't take out the ones he stood on. Can you avoid this, Sonic? Uh, I can avoid it in Sonic Adventure 2. I think I can avoid it in this. Can you make it here? That is robots coming from the continent. If I use them, I can reject them. Ow. I'm not going to. Ah, that's just like Sonic's last boss in Sonic Adventure 1. Oh, the last boss in Sonic's story. Yeah, I think this uh, this bus takes some things from the adventure games that Lazy Bean from Sonic Adventure 2 and attacking him the way I just attacked him from Sonic Adventure 1. That's making a nice T shape. I always fall for that. Where does that even come from? Yes, I can. No, 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 no! You see, I told you your biggest problem was falling. I'll get back to you once I've come to the end of this.